In this video, we're going to talk about doing an Euler approximation uh, for a differential equation. And basically, here's the idea is sometimes we have a curve that's too difficult to work with, but the derivative of that curve is easier to work with. And we can use the derivatives uh, or the slopes to help us to approximate the actual value of the curve. So the idea is to use little tiny line segments. So if we have our first line segment here, notice it's very good for a short period of time, but once we've gone a certain length or step, uh, we start to have some error. So once we have uh, some error, we want to make a course correction and get closer to the curve. So we start with a new segment with a slightly better slope uh, for another step. Uh, once we get there, notice we are getting some more error. So we want to make another course correction for our next step. And ultimately, when we get to the end, having taken however many steps we need to take, uh, we get a y value as our approximation to this y value, which is the actual answer. And of course, the difference between that would be your error. So anyway, let's uh, do one of these. So we're going to use Euler's method with step size 0.5 to approximate the solution to dy dx is 2x plus y from 0 to 1 using two steps uh, starting at 0 comma 1. Now we only use two steps uh, not because we're lazy, it's because AP generally only does two steps. Obviously more steps would make a more accurate answer. Let's keep in mind that dy dx is the equation for the slope of the tangent line at any point on the curve. So we want to start with kind of a general idea that we want to find y sub anything. We want to use our current y value plus our slope multiplied by our step size. Now if that looks somewhat familiar, you might think of that uh, when we were doing Taylor Maclaurin's, if we think of that as uh, uh, basically y sub 1 plus slope x. So it's the, the equation of a tangent line. Or you could think of it as y equals mx plus b. So let's go ahead and get started. We want to do our y sub 1. And so the first thing we want is our current y value. Well, our current y value, our starting off it is 1 plus and then we're going to want our slope. Well, to get our slope, we need to take our current point, 0, 1, and plug it into our differential equation. If we do that, we would get 2 times 0 plus 1. And then we're going to multiply that by our step size, which was given to us as 0 0.5. If we do that, uh, we would get 1 plus 0.5 which would be 1.5, which means, OK, now we started at 0. We took a step of 0.5. So our x value is 0 0.5. Our y value is 1.5. So let's go back to our graphic here and you know, try and give a visual on, visual on that. Our step size was 0 0.5. We started at 0, 1. So now here, we're at 0.5, comma, 1.5. So that gives you a visual as to what's kind of going on here. Well, now we need to make another step. So we need our current y value. And so our current y value is now 1.5. And that comes from this value over here. Uh, we want our current slope because we are now at a different place. So we're going to take our current point, plug it into dy dx to get our current slope. So that would be 2 times 0 0.5 plus 1.5. And we're going to multiply that by our step size, which is 0.5. If we do that, we get 1.5 plus 1.25, which would give us 2.75. So we took another step. So we're at 1, which is where we're supposed to be. Our y value is 2.75. So therefore, at x is 1, our Euler approximation 
is 2.75. 2.75. Nice double point there. I don't know what happened there, but that's okay. 2.75. So again, if we go back to our graphic, we took one more step, which was a length of 0.5, which means we've now traveled a total distance of 1. Uh, so this point would be our 1 and our 2.75. Seven five, and we're using this as our approximation to that curve. So I hope that made sense to you, and we'll probably do another.